Hello, this is Bern, and if you find yourself not approached by the kind of man that you want, or maybe you seem intimidated to them, I'm going to share with you how to change it once and for all. Hello, this is Bern, and welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women, how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of quality man that you want as a result of stepping into the most alive and feminine version of you. No need for gimmicks, manipulations, or crazy tricks. Now, if you find yourself not being approached by the kind of man that you want, more likely than not, you're not giving off the signals that allow them to understand unequivocally that you're approachable. Because the truth of the matter is, like, Many women who don't get approached feel that maybe they're not beautiful enough or not sexy enough. And I can tell you right now that after having the blessing of connecting with so many thousands of women from all over the world, I can share with you that beauty and radiance and attractiveness and sexiness has only something to do with your DNA and how you're born. You know, a lot of it has to do with how you show up and how open you feel to men when they approach you or when they are in your orbit. But if you generally have the feeling or the thought that you're not as beautiful as you need to be or that there's something missing in you, then you're going to give off some different signals that allow men to actually go past you and not see you. Now, because you can have two women side by side, one who is textbook definition beautiful and one who is not, not textbook definition beautiful, but who is more radiant and showing up with more openness. And that woman will resonate as more interesting or more exciting to that guy. I'm going to share with you right now five different things you can do to be more approachable. And I'm going to warn you in advance. These are things that are very simple, but they're not easy. And they're not easy sometimes because the easy thing is to do what you've always done or to go into your comfort zone or to just stay in your lane. But if you're able to, or if you're willing to test them out and to go deeper and deeper and practice them, get better as you practice them, you'll find more approachable. You'll find yourself to be more approachable by awesome guys. Step number one is slow down your breath. I know this seems like a subtle thing to do because it is. Slowing down your breath does a few things. Number one, brings you to the present moment. Number two, opens your heart and your chest. Number three, makes you more present. <sighs> when you consciously slow down your breath, you can all of a sudden see things you hadn't seen before. You can connect a little bit more with your heart and less with your head. And you can open your chest and heart for a guy to connect with you in ways that he wouldn't if you were just breathing normally. So that's number one. Number two, probably the most important thing you can do if you want to be more approachable is you can smile. As I shared before, there's women who are beautiful by the definition of what a model is, but they're not smiling and therefore are not being approached by anyone because they come off as cold or not interested in you. If you find yourself interested in someone, the best thing you can do is to smile. And you're not smiling to attract them, you're smiling because you're showing up the generosity of your spirit and your heart in that simple gesture. Smiling can change your world. Consistent smiling, generous smiling, alive smiling can make the difference between you getting married this year and not getting married this year. That's how important it is. Number three, say hi, hello, good morning, good evening, good night. Something as simple as that. Why? Because the moment you say hi or hello or you engage, you start a conversation with someone, the man understands that you're not going to punch him in the nuts, metaphorically speaking, and reject him if he approaches you. Now, if you already said hi, then that's the perfect excuse for him to say hi and ask you a question and then continue down the line up to the point where he gets your number, asks you on a date, asks you on 10 dates, asks you on 100 dates, and then marries you. That's, that's how it works, ladies. So if you know that you're not getting approached right now, Next thing you can do is slow down your breath, smile, say hi. Super simple, three-step process. Number four, do what I call the one-second rule. One-second rule means that whatever it is that you do already, you hold it for one more second. Eye contact, one more second. Smile, one more second. Conversation, you're about to close at an end. One more second of presence. 
One second is that one degree shift that makes the boiling water turn into steam. It's all it takes sometimes. If you feel you have to become a different woman, you're not going to do it. But if you know that one degree to the right or to the left consistently turns you into someone who's more open or more approachable, then you're going to do it. And it's something so simple that throughout time creates a new destination completely for you. Number five, have a clear intention to shine your light. What does that mean? That you're entering a room and your intention is not, well, I'm just going to go grocery shopping. Yes, yeah, that's the thing that you have to do, but what if you opt the intention? What if the intention is grocery shopping is the secondary thing? Number one thing is I'm going to create a moment for people that I interact with. And it doesn't just mean just men. It can mean the cashier. It could mean an uh, old lady who's crossing the street and you happen to help or smile towards. If you have an intention to shine your light, you will naturally be looking for different qualities in people and you'll come across as far more approachable because part of what you bring to the table is the ability to instill a little bit of hope, a little bit of change, a little bit of breaking their pattern from thinking to being by sheer contact with you. All of these things require practice, but all of these things alone or especially in combination with each other can get you far more options than you have today. So if you feel this is helpful and insightful to you, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or a thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, if you want to go deeper and understand what it takes to enter the best relationship of your life so far, I've created a free masterclass. All you do is go to the first link on the description of this video, click on it. It's going to take you to a page where you can enter your name and email, and then you'll be immediately redirected to this free class. Now, if you want some hand-holding, accountability, and personal help from me, there's another link under the description of this video that's going to allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.